Are you on? Yes. So she jokes. Yes. Well, I just, <laughs> you made me second mm. guess myself. So what, just for doing a beach nut shoot? Oh, so that's all you're going to give them. What, what else are we doing? Beach night too, with flash, with on flash. camera flash. Okay, because people keep asking. Yeah. So that's your intro. Well done, thank you. What? <laughs> nice fluffy back. Hey guys, so we've getting lots of comments about wanting to see how Peter shoots at night time with on camera flash. So we've come down to the beach and as you can see the sun is just about to set. And we've got Rara with us. Well, we still have her before she leaves us again and goes back overseas. And yeah, well, I think Peter's going to start shooting in this kind of light. And then once it gets dark, we'll show you how he does that as well. This time of night is a little bit difficult right now because if we, have, we want to shoot the sunset in the background, Rara's face is going to be pitch black unless we put flash or something else on it or we're gonna cook the background. Whereas if I come around here and turn Ra Ra into the sunset, I can also do some really, really nice shots just here. And what I might do is just snap one out. It's very nice light. Nice so with this, I've just, I've got running a 24 to 70 at the moment. I'm just gonna use that. I'll set my exposure. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So for the next five, 10 minutes, I can pull out shots like this without a problem. This is easy, this is really easy. Once that sun hits the horizon, you're gonna get a 15, 20 minute golden hour of stunning light. The only problem is, is the light hitting the horizon over there, we don't have the beach, we just have the trees and that behind her. If you're in a place that's good enough to have light that way, then you can have the beach behind, that's really nice. But we wanna have water behind, so I'm gonna get Rara over there is I'm going to set my ISO and my shutter for without flash. Now right now it's cooking in the background a lot so I'm just going to get my exposure for the background and that's the sky is just going off a little bit that's at a thousand ISO at 2.8 at uh, 200th of a second. I'm going to work out the distance I want to be off Rara for this next couple of hours and I just want to see, so fully zoomed in gives me this shot, fully zoomed out gives me that shot. That's about where I want to be. So I'm going to pace that out just so I know for the rest of the night, I'm two steps off Rara. That means whatever I set my flash to will be exactly the same as long as I'm two stops away. Two steps away, not stops. I'm just going to turn my flash on. I've just got the delay one. I'm going to have to change my EVF in a minute because at the moment, the EVF is just seeing pitch black. This is actually starting to come down quite nicely. Amazing. Amazing. Once we get later on, it's going to be, the background's just going to go black. But that's the look that we're trying to do. We're trying to do sort of like a paparazzi nighttime flash shoot. Um, I just want to check my overexposure. At the moment, the overexposure is just going off on her forehead and the sky. The sky I can't, well, I can fix, but I don't, don't want to do, I can't fix with flash. So I brought this now down to two. Four. Right, so I've taken the overexposure warning completely off her and I'm now just getting that typical on-camera flash shot. But that's what we're trying to get. That's the look that we've actually gone out to get today. So it's that high fashion paparazzi style flash on camera look. For a while now, and most likely for the rest of the night, I can just stay this distance off Rara and shoot. She's going to be exposed perfect the whole time. Cool? Cool. That's about our two metres, yeah, let's try that. Cool. cool. Can you see that? Awesome. All right. I know it sounds really dumb, but there's not a great deal I can teach you because I've pretty much done every now. For the rest of tonight, as long as we stay this distance apart, I'm going to have perfect exposure. It's that simple. But now it's just a matter of getting Rara to move and give me some attitude. Cool, cool, cool. That's really cool. Nice, nice, nice. Cool, cool. Nice, nice. These are really cool. Yeah. I'm just going to get touch lower on you. 
Can you go be slightly wider in your knees, just a bit so it's more attitude-y? Yeah. Just a little bit, just that's it, cool. I'm gonna just after that attitude, and the problem with cameras is they take that attitude out quite often. Cool. I'm just gonna keep checking, so whenever I'm not seeing enough in the viewfinder to keep me happy, I'm gonna check my shots, and yeah, I'm liking lots. That's really cool. Nice, nice. I can't believe that my eye detectors, even though in my viewfinder she's pretty dark, it's finding her eye nearly every frame cool. When I shoot this way, I do prefer to use a zoom lens rather than a fix because my flash is set for this distance. So if I want to zoom in or zoom out, I've got to change lenses. Whereas with this, I can just zoom in and out and it's not going to affect my exposure. Cool. And while we're getting dropping into dark, all I'm doing is just checking um, every sort of fourth or fifth burst to make sure I'm happy with how it's still looking. I won't get you to go right in. We might just get to the edge so I can use the water as the background behind you. So I've now just changed to three. I've changed this up to three from two to get this look. Um, do you want to get close to the water and on your knees? I'd want to try and shoot a bit without any sky behind you. So I need to shoot down a bit more on you. Is that cool? But you don't have to go any further than that. Just on the edge. Cool. So I'm a fraction close. And this is the thing is I don't have to move much. Even, do you want to drop even further? Just say, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Cool, cool. All I've done is just move back a fraction and that's taken that overexposure off her completely that's looking really cool yeah i'm really liking that that's cool that's really cool awesome awesome cool cool that's really pretty that's really pretty cool cool i'm liking that i'm liking that lots Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Really, really impressed with this. The focusing, it's nailing it. Nice, nice. Why I've changed my height, and I don't tend to like shooting down on women, but I wanted to have this sand and the beach in the background and none of the horizon. That's really cool. That's really cool. Cool. Nice, nice. That's really cool. That's really cool. Swap it a bit. Now I'm just going, I'm going to shoot with that in the background now. Yeah. Because the sun's setting over there, so we've still got that blue in the sky, but out this way we don't. So I was and getting annoyed, I wasn't liking the bit of sky up behind her. So come up this way a touch. Yeah, about there. Cool. That's better. So it's a difference between this shot and this shot is why I've moved her. Because now the whole background's just pitch black. And that's really what I'm trying to do with this shot. I'm not trying to get the background. I just want to have like that paparazzi nighttime shoot with the model out on the beach. Cool. Cool. Now again, this is a style and it's not for everybody. There's a lot of people that won't like it, but it is a style that advertising and fashion love because it's telling a story. That's cool. I like that. That's really cool. 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 Nice. So just while Rara is doing a change, one other thing is I really like getting my flash as close as I can to the actual lens. I don't like my flash sitting right up here as it casts big shadows underneath, where the closer I can get this light to my lens height, the less shadow will be under the chin so this is we'll put a link in below for this bracket cool 
Yeah, these are cool. Do you want to be on your knees, just there, or yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, just with the water just around your waist, like so around your sort of. If you just squat down into it, so I've got water under you, but you only have to be in a little bit. Yeah, let's try about there. About there's perfect. Cool, cool. That's really nice. That's really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. Cool. That's really cool. Yeah, these are cool. Awesome. Cool. I can't believe how well this eye focus is working. Cool. All right, do you want to go back in the water a little bit? Just keep going back. Nice, nice. I'm just dialing up my flash a bit so I can be, that's nice, I like that, that's really cool, that's really cool. Really work your eyes now, yep. alright? You look awesome, so it's just a matter, I just now want a finish. So whatever's going to make you feel something, cool. That's really cool. Cool, so we hope you enjoyed that. Um, as Peter said, there's not really much to it, just kind of, you know, he just showed you what to do. But um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed that and... There will be a full version of it on Inspire and I'll link you to some other outdoor shoots we've been doing.